All right, y'all, I want to do a real quick video. First off, this is my 2008 Dodge Ram 2500 4x4. It's got the 6.7 Cummins in it. Now, I just recently replaced the ball joints upper and lower, but I had an issue with them spinning on me when they uh, went to go put them in. So for the bottom one to get it stopped spinning, grab the trusty old floor jack here, put it on the bottom of the knuckle, I just jack it up to apply pressure, and I tighten it down until it start feeling loose, and I jack up a little bit more, tighten it down, jack up a little bit more, and up until I reach that first torque spec. Now for the top one here, they really didn't matter much. Now on the end of the shaft or the butt, bolt or whatnot of the ball joint, there's a uh, spot where you can put an Allen key in there. And I just grabbed my uh, socket with Allen key on it here. Shoved it up in there and I used a 15-16 uh, wrench to tighten that down to snug her up. And then I went ahead and uh, torqued it. Then torqued the bottom one again, then checked torque and made sure I had good move movement. Now it's not free moving, it's still stiff, which is what you want. But also when you uh, do your ball joints, you know, got your steering knuckle out and all that stuff. Make sure it's always a good idea to check this U joint, replace it if necessary, and also make sure your wheel bearing feels good. That uh, when you s rotate it, you don't have any like uh, anything feeling like it's catching or nothing. Mine felt pretty good. It just kind of was a little dry. And one thing you can kind of do to try to save it a little bit is you can um, you can go ahead and uh, put a little bit of grease in there. Make sure you use the right kind of grease. For wheel bearings, don't get your freaking low temp or whatever because you're just going to cook it and then you're going to just ruin your wheel bearing even faster. But yeah, I want to give that tip. Use a nice floor jack here on the bottom like I did. I used my little three ton. Well, not a little. It's a shop jack. My shop floor jack. Use that on the bottom there. Lift her up. Tighten down that first uh, bottom ball joint. Torqued her to the first spec. Came up here. Used my Allen Keys socket. In there at the 15 16th wrench and tightened her up and torqued it and torqued the bottom with its final torque and checked them out and now I'm putting her back together. By the way, this is a pain in the butt to get these ball joints out. To remove them, you need to get one of these kits. I got mine from Harbor Freight for like a hundred bucks. Now you do that, follow us instructions. And then um, one thing I had to do while I was uh, using it, because you kind of tighten it down and it presses them out. I had to use a hammer, hit on the front of this knuckle on both top and bottom every now and again, and it would eventually push it out. I also had to use a cheater pipe on it because, well, these suckers were rusted in good. I mean, look at all the rust on this thing. And that's Nebraska salt right there for the winter roads. So I try to wash it all the time. But uh, yeah. Just want to give that quick tip because all the only things I could find on YouTube for stopping that spinning was taking the big old six foot pry bar and just applying pressure down. And I've done that before, but I don't want to do that to mine because I don't want to prematurely damage your ball joints or something. But yeah, if you lift up on it with a car jack, you can get that one and use your Allen head, Allen key socket there and tighten her down. Well, if y'all want me to tell you anything more about this pickup, I will. I'll probably post more about the tie rods when I do them. Woohoo!